This is cream chip beef on toast. Uh, it's my own kind of, you might call it a gourmet version. It's probably not what they did in the army. The one that you hear about called SOS. This is sort of a version that you do. It's like the gourmand version of cream chip beef on toast. So this is how I do it. Like this. I like to slice these guys thin. Just thin, thin, thin. Yeah, and my knife is not sharpened quite the way I might like it. That's about enough. I just give it a little cut. And in the pan it goes over here. I'm going to cut up a little celery too. I like to use the stuff with the leaves. I put the stuff with the leaves on top when I'm done, like a garnish. It gives it a nice green taste. If you don't eat celery leaves, and you don't know what you're missing. You put that stuff right on top. But this stuff, I'm going to saute along with my onions. And this just gives it a nice flavor. Just that much. Right in the pan. Let's go over and see what's going on over here in the pan. There we go. That's the pan. So I gotta get some butter in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go heavy on the butter. Turn the heat down. We just want to saute. You don't want to brown this stuff. Well, it seems like this part seems to take forever. Hmm? This is the impatient, I'm really hungry part. How long is it going to be? But you really want to wait until they're translucent. You don't want to burn the butter. You know? So, patience. Okay, well now I'm going to pull all the vegetables off to one side. And let the butter kind of come out of it. And I'm going to make a roux with this butter. With a little flour here. Just about, I don't know, one tablespoon. Maybe two. It's so, another tablespoon. Just make this lightly brown. I'm keeping the flame over this part. In New England, we use Worcestershire sauce. Not too much. a little bit so you can see the see the rest of what's going on okay so the kind of cream chip beef that I have is uh, this kind of stuff here it's it's a good brand it's not the stuff you get in the jar yeah. so I'm just gonna break that up when I'm, when I'm ready to toss it in there I've got my toaster here so I'm gonna put down a couple slices of toast Right? This guy looks like it's just about ready over here. Right? 
Yeah. So I'm going to trickle a little milk in that and make kind of a sauce. I need a lot more milk, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Smells really good. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. Okay. Maybe like that. I like it a little bit thin. Oh, I spilled some. My wife will kill me. She won't really. I'm kidding. A little more. Perfect. Now, I also like to put... That's going to be good. Right there. I like to put a little... Uh, look at that. I like to put a little uh, black pepper. Quite a lot, actually. Black pepper. Toast is in. See? Put that in. Good. Now's the time. If you want it a little thicker, you can you can do it now. I mean, a little thinner. About two tablespoons is right for, for a pack of this beef. Oh, look at that. In goes the beef. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's actually like dried slices of nice steak. I mean, it's good stuff. It is salty. You certainly don't need to add any salt to this. Get that. Oh. That's good stuff right there. So, that's done. So let's plate it up and see how it happens. For uh, cream chip beef, I like to get out the, the china and the silver. I got my toast right there. A little of this. Mm hmm. Yeah, you won't call it SOS anymore. Love that. Oh, look at that, huh? How's that? How do you like me now? So, when I do this, I mean, I like to get the, uh, I like to light a meat candle. I like to light a meat candle. And, uh, Yes, I do. I like to get me a, fe a fever tree ginger ale. <sighs> Thank you, Lord, for this food. Huh? Tell me. You won't call it SOS anymore. celery to cut the salt. It's delicious. Mmm.